What just happened is that Nandor took a bat that was being treated here and he just re-released it into the wild. Uh, a sick, sick bat. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 what we do in the shadows moments. I didn't like the color of our skin. Or the fact that we killed an eight people. Probably more that. Master, this is pretty macabre. <laughs> Milfs, even better. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the most iconic scenes from the What We Do in the Shadows TV show. Let us know in the comments which vampire you think makes the best housemate. Number 10, Vampire House. Very clever hiding place. Familiars are such idiots. <laughs> the vampires are left alone to grapple with a traumatic chain email while Guillermo's mission with the vampire slayers takes up the brunt of the episode. The slayers announce they found a large ominous house on Staten Island, but it's not the main vampire residence. We need to go, okay? We need to go right now. Where are you going? Though we initially think they've broken into the house of some random people, it turns out that it is the home of a vampire coven called the Hustle Dynasty, which seems to model itself of classic family sitcoms. <laughs> there are children vampire, vampire teenagers, they have photos of themselves all dressed the same, and they try to ruthlessly kill anyone who crosses them. <laughs> Number nine, Citizen Nandor. Master, are you all right? I have no country. I have no home. Upon discovering that his original home country was dissolved over 700 years ago, Nandor decides that time is right for him to finally apply for US citizenship. Yes. I will make an alliance with this unholy nation and make this place my home. Guillermo discovers that this is the second time Nandor has tried to get his citizenship, as he also tried in 1992 so that he could properly support the basketball dream team sent to the Barcelona Olympics that year. He's an avid basketball fan, though he forgot to finish the process for certain reasons. What happened in 1992? Why didn't you complete the process? Probably because the Macarena swept the nation. So, I didn't really have time for anything else. But Nandor encounters a few problems, namely that he doesn't actually know anything about America to answer the citizenship questions. What does the Constitution do for the people? It oppresses them. To top it all off, he also can't say the word God without breathing fire. So help me God! Number 8. Colin, the manager. Despite having no idea what his job actually is, since he got a boring office job purely to drain energy, Colin Robinson is chosen for an important promotion. Now everybody has to listen to him and his long rants and bad jokes, because he's their boss. Dan, I've called you in for an impromptu performance review. Why? If you were a tree, what type of tree would you be? Uh, I don't know, a maple. Okay, that's interesting. This means he can feed on absolutely everybody for as long as he wants, becoming immensely powerful while also running the company into the ground. I don't even need to talk someone's ear off anymore to drain them. I can drain them with a single phrase. TGIF? It's five o'clock somewhere. He even starts growing hair and learns how to clone himself, creating two additional Colin Robinsons, and then he proceeds to drain his own energy and bores himself to death. Oh no, they bored themselves to death. Number seven, attending a funeral. This just uses science to find out where your ancestors came from. It could also be used to see if you have any living relatives. Living relatives? The vampires are taking tests to find their distant relatives, and Nandor is able to find one of his 200,000 living descendants on Staten Island. Unfortunately, she isn't living for long, since she's 94 years old and has the living daylight scared out of her by Nandor. Come look, this is for you. Your grandpappy is here. Say hello. This is... 
The housemates decide to pay their respects to Madeline by attending her funeral. However, vampires and religious ceremonies famously don't mix. Do it for Madeline. Look at the pictures on the glass. It's the Jeepers, man. When they're in church, they slowly but surely begin to burn up and cry tears of blood, smoldering while the funeral is conducted and they're forced to leave. Still, at least it happened at night. Yeah, Mom. I'm on fire, get some water, no, water! Ah. Ah! So sad. Number six, Laszlo confronts Gregor. Nadja reconnects with her long-lost human lover Gregor, who is frequently reincarnated after getting decapitated in every single one of his past lives. Yes, uh, you, you shouldn't be here. My husband lives here. Husband? And he is a very big, wide man who loves to bite. He Our destiny to bite. cannot be denied. Who's this, well, my darling? Though he's initially called Jeff and has no idea who she is, he eventually remembers her, losing his mind a little in the process. Their affair continues until Laszlo arrives on the scene, announcing not only that he's known all along about Nadja and Gregor, but that he is the one who cuts Gregor's head off in every single reincarnation. When I was a street thief, I had the cleaver in my hand. When I was a naval officer, I was on board that ship with the Catalyst. Nadja, of course, finds this extremely romantic and all but abandons Gregor until his return as a ghost in series two. My darling, every time Del Boy turns up, you start crying. I'm not having that. You're my sweet baby, and I'm here to stop that kind of jive. Number five, the get together. We must, must, must get a succulent virgin feast. It's the vampire's turn to host a specific type of adult party, one that's thrown every six months. The episode is preoccupied with preparations for the party, including roping in Guillermo as a narrator for the proceedings. But also because Laszlo's found a collection of adult films he starred in a few decades ago. Time to 23 skidoo. Or should I say 69 skidoo? Nadja upsets him by deriding his art as boring and doesn't want to be made to sit through them anymore. Are you role-playing as a depressed man? It's not not working. At the end of the episode, Laszlo wants to reconcile and declares his undying love for Nadja. Unfortunately, this totally ruins the mood of the party and all the guests walk out. This orgy didn't count. Don't tell your friends it was a bad orgy. Number four, Werewolf Fight. An ongoing feud with local werewolves was a major plot in the original movie, and the show followed this tradition early on by introducing us to Staten Island's own werewolf set. And it states, should a werewolf pack have a beef with a vampire house? It's us. The two groups shall not battle, but elect from amongst them their strongest fighter. After the werewolves urinate on Laszlo's erotic topiary collection, it's decided that Nandor, thanks to his reputation as the warlord Nandor the Relentless, is going to do battle with the strongest werewolf, Toby. He's quite oh, big. Oh, Come on, Nandor, yeah. you can do it. Oh, we need go. a new rug for the house. Initially, it seems like Nandor is definitely going to lose this fight, but he chooses the smart way out, selecting a dog toy as his weapon. Okay, I will choose oh. the Chuck Scimitar. This! What is it? Oh, oh no! He throws the toy off the roof and Toby blindly follows, ending the feud. No! Toby! Oh, oh God. What the hell? That's cheating! Well played. Number three, Jackie Daytona. Jim the Vampire, played by none other than Mark Hamill, arrives on the scene to collect a debt from Laszlo that we can only assume isn't that much money. But rather than paying it, Laszlo decides he needs to flee New York, so he flies off into the night, never to be seen again. I now go by the name of Detona. Jackie Detona. We later catch up with him in a small town in Pennsylvania, where he's working as a bartender under the alias Jackie Daytona, disguised with only a toothpick. Better hit the bricks before I put my foot up your ass. Every year, me and the boys go on a charity run to raise money for kids. While there, he gets involved in coaching the local girls' volleyball team and puts on a talent show to raise the money to send the girls to state, until getting caught out by Jim again. <laughs> 
charlatan! Number two, The Vampiric Council. In a show known for cameos, no episode stands out more than The Trial. Suspected of the crime of vampire murder, Nandor, Laszlo, and Nadja are summoned to see the Vampiric Council. Laszlo already has a close call with the council in the 1930s when he turned a baby into a vampire, but this crime is more serious. If I ever find out who did it, I will take a dagger and stab them 5,000 times with this hand switch hands and stab them another 5,000 times. After the council's extremely bizarre dance performance, we're introduced to them one by one. So that's why we're here. The main trio from the movie, Deacon, Vlad, and Viago are back, and they're joined by famous faces who have played vampires in their careers. We have Tilda Swinton, Paul Rubens, Evan Rachel Wood, Danny Trejo, Wesley Snipes, and even the vampire baby itself making appearances. <sighs> Number one, Baron on the Town. I want to see the sights. I want a night on the town. A night on the town. Early in series one, the Baron, played by the legendary Doug Jones, arrives on the scene. But it's a few more episodes until he's ready to leave his attic-bound coffin and head out to conquer the new world. Something our vampires said they would do centuries ago. He is not coming along, is he? I will take care of it. Okay, but... Don't make a big thing out of it. They dress him in the best low-key clothes they can find and take him for a night of drinking, hedonism, and eating pizza, the latter of which makes him projectile vomit because human food doesn't agree with vampires. The garlic burnt a little bit. Ah! <laughs> of course, the night ends tragically when a drunken baron falls down the stairs and is caught in a ray of sunshine, bidding him to a crisp. Okay. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.